Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how are you doing today? My name is Rich, your host from Rich TV Live, with our very special guest, the CEO of Pet Vivo Holdings Inc., John Lai. How are you doing today, John? Good. How are you, Rich? I'm doing fantastic. Very excited to have you back on the show. And I have a few questions for you. My first one, John, um, since the last time we spoke, the company reported second quarter of fiscal 2023 financial results. Can you go through some of the results for us ending September 30th, 2022? Yes, I think we did. We reported uh, 235,000 approximately, which was quite a bit of growth from the same quarter a year ago. Um, that partially reflects some of the sales we sold to MWI through our distribution agreement. Um, so since then, I talked about a very good sell-through ratio or, or inventory turn uh, since it was our first and getting follow-up orders. Um, it's a very good sign. It's hard to judge because the, there was probably pent-up demand as the product hit their distribution centers. Uh, so hopefully uh, we can keep accelerating the pace of orders, which we think we will. And then going forward, we have our um, American Association of Equine Practitioners Conference in San Antonio this year, uh, starting November 18th through the 22nd. Uh, the, that's the largest equine practitioner event, and we should be able to make a pretty good splash there with MWI. We'll, we've been invited into the MWI booth along with some of our uh, literature that will be there. And then we have our own booth. And we're also doing two uh, theater type presentations on our product and the different applications by Dr. Joe Manning on Saturday and Sunday. And we have a news release to that effect so people can look at the times. I'm sure it's noon central. Uh, on Saturday and noon on Sunday. So we should see a good turnout of veterinary doctors and we have a bunch of high profile vets that will be in our booth to greet people and tell them their experiences in using our product spring with osteocushion technology. Fantastic. John, can you also tell us about the 47 states you guys have opened up accounts with veterinary clinics? What is the potential estimated revenue from these accounts? Well, it depends on time frame, but obviously when we start grabbing market share, I feel we have the ability to really address the $4.8 billion a year market here in the United States in terms of osteoarthritis and other related types of treatments uh, because our product is quite disruptive and it's showing very good efficacy in, in the field. Uh, we're excited about that as well as the other equine vets will be talking about the product at this trade show. So right now about 90% of our revenues are in the equine space. We just completed October 30th, uh, the ETHO small animal study that should get published sometime early February, which uh, will be a pretty major catalyst uh, from the standpoint of getting small animal adoption. Uh, small animal vets, uh, like to see the data, even though we know it's safe because of the fact we did 145 human study, which is a lot more stringent than on the animal side. A lot of these um, corporate owned clinics require an animal study. They don't care how stringent your human study was. Uh, so we feel good about that. And also given the fact uh, these, these articles are probably gonna get published in some of the top veterinary magazines, because that's where they're targeted, uh, we feel the data will be quite good. And also the clinicians have asked if they can present these at major conferences like the Western Veterinary Conference out in Vegas. That's like the second week in February. It's the largest uh, veterinary conference on the West Coast, and it's actually much more oriented to small animals like dogs and cats. And then we also have a cat study that commenced and it should be done between six and nine months that will help us launch the feline spring product. Here at Rich TV Live, we love pets and we know that people love their pets and love their animals. 
I want to bring your attention to the symbol. It's PETV on the NASDAQ. Put on your radar and put on your watch list. John, can you go through the cost of sales for us so the viewers can get a better understanding of the financials? Well, we really can't go into detail on that because it's under certain confidentiality with MWI or agreement. But I can say as we scale and hit certain volumes, we will be north of 70% gross profit margin. And we also left a good margin for the distributors. It's nothing above what is industry normals, but it's good. And they have incentive to hit certain milestones to get bonuses. And they also have to hit certain milestones every year to maintain their three-year exclusivity. And in the next three years, what would you say are the revenue goals for Pet Vivo Holdings Inc.? Well, there there are many wild cards out there for usage. Uh, we're we're finding out vets are using it in applications that we didn't put out there, and they're having really good success. So just like human doctors, they do off label use, and we're seeing a lot of that. So. That, that's a very difficult wild card to grasp. But over the next three years, I feel we have the potential of grabbing at least 5% of the addressable market. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Now, I know you guys had a call going through the financials on November 10th. If investors wanted to see a replay of that webcast, where would they be able to find that? Where would that be available? I think it's on our website, actually. They have to sign in and give information and then they can... Uh, view it um that that's one of the i believe one of the requirements uh, for for reg fd so so i'm pretty sure it's there because our law firm does all that for us so i don't really pay attention we just make sure we comply but i'm pretty sure that's one of the requirements so go to uh petvivo.com and go to the investor section or news section it'll be in one of those sections it's amazing how we don't look at our own website it's like we don't dial our own phone numbers <laughs> That, and, you know, it's very, very true. Now, is there anything else you would want viewers and investors watching to take away from this interview today? Well, I think it's, you know, we're in a situation where everything is towards driving sales and customer acquisition. And we have a very good uh, reorder rate. Uh, it's never 100%, but I, I'm going to say we're north of 90%, wow. which is pretty unheard of in the industry. Very impressive. Well, it is that disruptive. I mean, literally when you do the injection, it's in a very short period of time that you see the improvement in your dog or horse and people, it makes people feel good. It makes me feel good when I see the stories come in of uh, how we have basically saved their animals and allow their animals to uh, have a much better quality of life. Well, animals are family members. You know, I see people take care of their animals as much as they take care of their kids. So it's extremely important what you guys are doing. Continue to do the great work you're doing. And I know it makes a huge difference for animal lovers. What is the best way for anyone who has questions, potential investors or current investors, to get in touch with the company if they have any questions? I would go to the website and email uh, the info email. And then somebody will get back to them. Uh, like if they're uh, if they have a pet that's looking for um, a vet in their area, we usually recommend them emailing us or giving us their vet information, and we can contact their vet to expose them to the product, and maybe they'll use it. I mean, that's our obviously our first choice. Otherwise, we'll refer them to a vet in the area. Fantastic. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. If you're a pet lover, you're going to love Pet Vivo Holdings. Once again, the symbol is PETV on the NASDAQ exchange. And thank you for joining us, the CEO of Pet Vivo Holdings, Inc., John Lai. Thank you for joining us today, John. Thank you, Rich. Always a pleasure. Love to invite you back if you ever have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss in the future. We'd love to invite you back here onto Rich TV Live. And for those of you guys that are watching at home, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners. We bring you the news, CO interviews, analysis, and we'd love to bring it to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for your time, John. And for those of you guys at home, have a nice day.